In this video, we'll be looking at the CargoWise One system setup for importing the Cargo Account Settlement System, or CAS, billing file. CAS is an electronic billing solution serving over 200 airlines, general sales and service agents, and ground handling companies. This video is one of a series of videos that cover the CAS process from setup to posting. We'll look at setting up airline organizations, security, and the related registry settings. To start, Go to Maintain, System, and then Registry to open the Edit System Registry window. From here, go to Accounting, Payable Defaults, Default Settings, CAS, and then CAS Charge Codes. Then select the appropriate company in the Fallback Level panel. The first line comes from the Freight Charge Code Registry item. To override the CAS Charge Code setting, tick the Override Default box. Then within the grid, nominate the configuration rules. You can set all CAS types to show the one charge code, or you can specify particular CAS types and components. The next registry setting to review is the CAS Cost Import Allowed Discrepancy. This defines the maximum amount by which the cost being imported can exceed the related accruals. When the imported cost exceeds the accruals by this specified amount, they are displayed within the CAS cost file import screen and the CAS discrepancies report. Note that the amount entered here is defined in the local currency of the login company. By default, the system will create claims automatically when the discrepancies are greater than the allowed discrepancy defined in this registry. You can choose to change this default using this registry setting. CAS Import Auto Create Claims. You can also choose to create claims for both overbilling and underbilling, or not to create claims automatically. We'll explain this further in a separate learning unit. The next system registry setting we'll look at is CAS GL Account. The GL account entered here will be the account to which any cost from CAS for a master airway bill that doesn't have a corresponding consolidation will be recorded until such time as the discrepancy can be resolved. The last system registry setting we'll review is under Freight, AWB, MAWB, Issuing Carrier Agent, and then IATA Code. Here, choose each fallback level branch to ensure that the appropriate IATA Code is entered. When you're ready, click on the Save button, then the Yes button to confirm, and then click on the Close button. In order to check your security rights to import CAS, go to Maintain, User Admin, and Group. From the Group Search screen, click on the New button to create a new group for CAS security. We'll name this group CAS and add the description CAS Import. Next, click on the Security tab and go to Manage then Payables, and CAS Cost File Import. Here, click on the first line and tick the Is Allowed box in the grid. In addition to this security setting, you'll need to make sure that the users have the security rights to Payables transactions, either within this group or through another group. Then click on the Members tab to attach users to the CAS Import group. When you're ready, Click on the Save and Close button. For more information on security and groups, refer to other learning units. Finally, we'll have a look at how to set up an airline organization record. From the main screen, go to Maintain, Master Data, and then Organization, which opens the Organization Search screen. From here, use the filters to find your airline. And then click on the Find button. Airlines should be ticked with the global supplier and have the master bill prefix under the carrier tab. To review this, highlight the appropriate airline organization, then click on the View button to open the View Organization window. The global supplier type is ticked. Clicking on the carrier tab, you can see the master bill prefix. Airlines agencies can be set under the Agencies tab. When the related country port matches the home port of the master airway bill stock, and the agency is flagged as a payables organization, 
it will be used as the creditor for the CAS cost line. In addition to this, clicking on the AP tab will let you specify a settlement group. In this example, adding CAS as the settlement group means that the CAS invoice will post to each individual airline, but remit in a single payment to CAS. When ready, click on the Close button. Detailed information about organizations and settlement groups is covered in separate learning units.